Okay, cousins, let's make the best jerk chicken wings that you ever had in your life that's so tender and will fall off the bone. Come along with me. Now right here is all the ingredients I use. You could pause the screenshot. As you see right here, these are my frozen wings that I'm just going to start prepping. As y'all know what I always say, clean those meats. Clean those meats, cousins. As you can see, I am pouring my spring water in here. A good three cups of spring water and then I will be pouring a good three cups of distilled vinegar. And I will let that soak for a good 30 minutes. Um, this was actually a 40 pound case of chicken that I broke down into five pounds each. So this was like a good 10 pounds of chicken right here that I am prepping. As you see, the chicken is still frozen. So right here, I have to use a little arm muscle in order to pull that apart. You see, I'm struggling <sighs> right here. It, it takes a lot to clean chicken. So you cannot rush this process. We do not rush this project, um, process at all. Now this is 30 minutes after it's soaked. Now I will be separating my chicken so that I could go through each piece individually to make sure I pluck all them feathers, get any extra hairs or anything off the chicken. You have to make sure you do that as well because when you buy bulks of chicken, it does come like with a lot of feathers and stuff still on there. So just make sure you go through each piece because you don't want to be eating any type of hair when you're cooking <laughs> so just make sure you go through each one you see right here i'm going back through it again so i can separate it and then i will be rinsing it off again for another 15 minutes letting it soak to get all that extra blood off of it any extra hairs that didn't come up because it's still frozen and then um afterwards i will start prepping my chicken by seasoning it Now that you see my chicken is like done to start getting seasoned, right here I will be seasoning my chicken with my own seasoning. As I tell y'all, I dig in my cabinets and I just get everything out of there so I won't have a bunch of bottles up in there. So this is a good three tablespoons because this is 10 pounds of chicken. 10 pounds so y'all have to make sure y'all season this chicken really good as y'all see i seasoned the chicken and then i seasoned the bottle of the um pan in order to put the chicken in there as well right here i am using medium salsa which is green salsa because it cuts the salt intake down when you are using any type of jerk seasoning or sauce it has a lot a lot of salt in there especially if it's not homemade so you have to cut that salt intake down and this is the way i cut my salt intake and then you see i am seasoning the container as well as the chicken because i will have to separate this as well in order to mix it up good enough in order for all them seasonings and sauces to get on each piece of chicken so that's the reason why i'm doing this the way i am now i'm mixing that all together with a whole package of freshly cut fajita mixed peppers and onions so that you see how seasoned that is already and in between each time i'm doing this i am changing my gloves <laughs> so don't think i'm using the same gloves because i do not like cross contaminating anything so i am changing my gloves each time 
Now right here, I am adding the chicken in slowly in order for me to start mixing that in as well for each piece of chicken to get evenly coated with them seasonings, the jerk sauce, the salsa, everything. And another substitute that I use for my salsa at time, I use sorfito, the green sorfito, just to let y'all know that. And if I don't have the jerk seasoning, which is the marinade like that, I also use jerk seasoning packets. So you can use either one, it's gonna still taste good, but like I stated, always cut that salt intake down by mixing. Now I will be placing it in my aluminum pans, separating it five um, pounds each in each pan in order for it to cook evenly all the way through. You cannot have too much chicken and try to cook it. You can, but it has to be a larger pan. And these, as you see right here, are small pans. So I have to like break it down evenly in order for that chicken to cook all the way through. And also these are bigger drums. I hate big drums and big chicken so i have to cook this longer as well in order for it to get cooked fully all together me cooking this chicken because i had it on preheat i preheated my oven at 375 i cooked it for an hour the first time around and then uncovered it and then i cooked it again uh, well, I kept cooking it and I cooked it again. I kept cooking it on um, 375 uncovered for another hour and then I turned it up to what was it? Three, 400 and covered it again for an extra 30 minutes and then I uncovered it <laughs> for an extra 30 minutes. So, all together, I baked this chicken for three hours you don't have to cook it that long you really don't but i like my chicken tender like really tender it has to be tender like it has to be falling off the bone especially if it's baked chicken now you see right here it's like steaming hot i will be using this broth for another meal of mine so now i am dumping out that broth and i'm going to save it because I'm going to use this for some corner shins. I'm going to put that video up too whenever I do make them. But, and I think I'll probably make them tomorrow. So, that video will be up soon. Right here, they are out of the oven after the first hour. And like I said, you cook them until how tender that you want them. I like my baked chicken to be falling off the bone. And since this is bigger size chicken... Um, and as I say, I don't like big chicken, so I have to cook this longer in order for it to fall off the bone. That's just a preference for me, and that's an ick of mine as well. I get freaked out by big chicken wings. And now that I'm mixing it all together, making sure, you know, them seasonings get all on everything. Making sure that seasonings get on everything. And you see right here, it's breaking apart already. But also, I don't like soggy skin on my chicken. So that's another reason why I cook it so long. You see, that's falling apart already. And after this came out of the oven the last time, the last 30 minutes, look how that's falling apart. When I say this was so tender, so tender. But I hope that y'all like, comment, and subscribe by now. Also, don't forget to don't forget to let me know how y'all like this video. If I should be doing more videos like this. Now the chicken is completely done. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. I hope that y'all join the family. And also, thank y'all for joining. See y'all later, cousins. Bye.